Alright guys, I have some really, really big news and also an update on why the Kirby the Kirby parts have uh, been delayed. I've been playing a game that is so awesome and so epic that among any of the other games that I have ever played, it is just, oh, amazing. The animations are awesome. The gameplay style itself is freaking just, it's almost perfect. There are a few issues, like the grinding mechanics are a bit slow, but otherwise, it's an amazing game, and I really recommend that you go play it. But, my god, the storyline is damn near perfect. Um, the characters are actually incredibly well-developed, and above all else, it is it is just a blast to actually play. And I've been playing it for the past week, and I've been like, man, I really want to do an LP of this. But the issue that I'm having, of course, is that I haven't been able to finish my Kirby LP, and that's because when I tried to record, when I tried to do the post commentary for my last Kirby part, I pretty much ran out of things to say. But this new game, oh my God! We got dragons, we got demons, we got arc lords, we got all f all f sorts of different beasts in the bestiary. It has a complete bestiary for you to try and collect, by the way, and. Uh, and you just want to keep coming back to it. I've already beaten the game once, and I'm playing through it a second time with a different character setup, trying to actually see what kind of equipment and uh, usage I can actually, you know, try and finish finish up. But what I really love about this game is the fact that it doesn't seem to have a legit end. There are a bunch of optional bosses that I missed the first time through that I had to look up a walkthrough in order to get to, and I'm going to try and actually get those this time because they drop really rare stuff. But um, the game itself plays really well. I, of course, I'm using an emulator for it. But um, it's it's just beyond perfect. It's like one of those games that you play it once and you're like, my God, why haven't I played this before? Why is this so unique and new? This should not be unique. This should be the norm. We should be trying to better this. And I haven't seen anything out there that's actually better than this. So, guys, what's what's going to happen is I can't actually do an LP of this game because I really don't know how well it would record on screen. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know you know do a base description of it in this in this video and you know actually you know see if I can describe it and I'm gonna try my best at this but I really don't think it's gonna work. Um, the game starts off and you're obviously in this small little village like a lot of cliched heroes and like a lot of cliche games your village actually starts to get attacked well you being one of the very few survivors of the attack actually managed to fend off a good portion of the invaders except for one except for one of the guys who actually comes back later and they actually give you you know the basic equipment loadout like bron like bronze equipment or some crap i don't actually remember and then you go out into the into the real world where the gameplay just explodes at you um, throughout the game, you'll actually be able to acquire summons, and one of the first summons that you get is a fire elemental, and the and what's really cool about the summoning system is that every time you use a summon, you have the ability of actually increasing the level of that summon, and every time a summon level goes up, either its damage potential increases, or it gains a secondary effect. For example, the first summon that you get, the fire summon, actually decreases the enemy's attack power when you actually use the summon. Granted, in order to balance this out, uh, summons usually cost more MP than they're usually worth. For example, like the part that I'm on on my second playthrough at the moment, um, the summons cost a good half of my MP to cast. This isn't really that big a deal because even though they cost half my MP, they do a crap load of damage and a lot of them have all targeting effects. So you know they're incredibly powerful. Um, one of the later summons in game that you'll get allows you to actually decrease your enemy's agility, and that is a godsend against a good portion of the bosses. So you walk out of your village, and you find out that the evil guys are using some sort of device in order, to, in order to try and take over the world, and it's your job as the main hero in order to take out these devices. And then the game cuts from that to introduce you to your main heroine, who has actually, you know, been secluded all of her life, and her parents are missing. And um, she is she's going to be your main physical damage dealer throughout the entire time. What's cool about her is that, well, what's cool about all the characters, rather, is they each have elemental affinities according, according to um, 
well, according to their, you know, uh, background. For example, your main hero, being the main hero, is more attuned to fire elemental skills, whereas your main heroine, being the main heroine, is more attuned to wind elemental spells. And this makes your summons more or less powerful depending on how, depending on who uses them. Um, and so you team up with this chick, and she is actually incredibly good right off the bat, and she only gets better from there. Uh, she does kind of break the game at the later at the later levels, but that's to be expected since your main hero actually isn't your best damage dealer. Actually, that role goes to the heroine because she hits so many times and is so fast with it. She's pretty much your all-around, I'm going to kill things now character. But anyway, with the, your with your two new characters, with your two characters, you go around and you end up at this, you end up at this temple sanctuary type place. I don't exactly remember what it's called, and there you meet your third party member, who is, you know, he's your standard. Yo, I'm the really serious guy. We need to actually focus on saving the world. Whereas your uh, main heroine happens to be this chick who is super bubbly and socially awkward for not, you know, actually being around people for most of her life, and your hero is again pretty much mute. I don't like that about I don't like that about generic RPGs when they actually make uh, the characters mute, but they do it a lot, and I don't really know why. All right, so now that you have your three main characters, you actually get introduced to one of the side characters that you'll never actually be able to use, but he's always there, the main rival of your third party member, and um, he actually has very similar abilities to what your three main characters have, thanks to the acquisition of a certain item that he gets, which makes him, you know, technically stronger than the three of you put to, put together. You'll be fighting him multiple times throughout the game, and you'll actually see him get to transform into what is probably one of the harder bosses. But, um, I like, I like when video games actually give you a rival, and he's not, you know, the total annoying person, he's actually a threat, and you have to take care of him at some times. And I love it when games do that. So you go around the world, and you are attempting to save all of, all of these minor villages and cities from the horrible, evil, bad guys that are trying to destroy the world. And you do that for a while, and you get to fight your first fight with uh, with your uh, alternate with your alternate self. Technically, he's not really an alternate self; he's just a rival. And eventually, you get to the point where where well, we've taken out. A uh, majority of the bad guys. Well, what else is next? That's the thing. Uh, one of the optional bosses in this game is so ridiculously powerful that you have to be pretty much max level in order to take him down. I like it when games do that, and I usually don't grind myself to actually be able to hit, to take him down. But I did it in this game, and it felt so rewarding to take him down. And I, I love this game. I really do. The graphics are amazing for. Uh, the graphics are amazing for the system it's on. The gameplay is just really addicting. I should actually be playing that now instead of recording this, but I'm playing, but I'm recording this instead. But no, I'm not gonna be able to LP this because I'm not entirely sure how it would actually turn out. So yeah, um, the even the music in this game is decent. It's not like you know, like Final Fantasy good. Although uh, then again, I don't really like a majority of the Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy final tracks, like Dancing Mad and One Winged Angel. I hate One Winged Angel. But uh, the battle theme is the battle theme is catchy. The world map thing, the world map theme is actually calming and soothing. A lot of the city things are re really good. And the lot there's a lot of twists and turns that happens in the storyline. So you're like, okay, now where the hell do I go next? Well, in order to actually figure that out, you actually have to talk to people. And the more you talk to people, the more they'll actually, you know, give you things. They'll give you either advice or backstory on what's actually happening. And I love it when NPCs aren't totally useless because it actually builds up the world around you. So I really recommend that you guys try and find this game. I really do. It it's damn near perfect and I don't like giving games perfect scores because then it's like well why would I ever need to get another game to this so I won't give this game a perfect score mainly because the grinding mechanic for the summons is a bit tedious but it's worthwhile because every time your summons level up you know something happened you know they're either gonna get stronger or get an additional effect so yeah that is my uh... That is my thoughts on the game I've been playing. I apologize for not uploading Kirby parts, but when I actually have, you know, a little bit more interest in the Kirby parts, I'll keep doing those. 
All right, and uh, I'll see you guys next time when we'll hopefully try to finish Kirby Superstar. This is Gurdette14 signing out. Be safe.